Hey guys, welcome back. This is my Kermis at MH Tutorials, and today we're gonna play a little bit with N particles. I'm just gonna fool around with that, all right? And uh, it's pretty neat, so uh, let's get started with that. We're gonna create a simple scene. So we're gonna take a polygon sphere. We're gonna drag that out. We're gonna increase the sections, the subdivisions to 40. We're gonna go to our uh, side view, right click, go to face, drag select the top half, and hit delete. Okay, so we've got this bowl here. We're going to right click, go to object mode. I'll just hit, hit 5 for shaded mode, like that. We're going to hit W, we're going to pull that up a little bit. And in our attribute editor, in our sphere 1 tab, we're going to set the translate values to 0. So it's nice and centered. I'm going to pull that up until it's sitting on our grid. Okay, something like that. Next, we're going to create something to hold fluid. All right, so we're going to create a polygon pipe, uh, sorry, a cylinder. We're going to increase subdivisions to 40. Let's get rid of the caps. We can do zero on that. All right. And we're going to right click, go to face, select the top face, and hit delete. All right. Let's right click, go to edge. We'll take the top edge, we'll bring it down just a little, something like that. And we'll make sure that the object is pretty much in line with our bowl from our top view. Okay, we're going to bring that in a little bit. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to fill this up with particles and then we're going to tilt it and we're going to pour the particles into the bowl. All right. That's the idea anyway. Okay. Now maybe this is a little bit big, so we're just going to scale it down a little, something like that. All right. And we need to figure out if we rotate this, whether or not the content will fall in. Okay. Now we need to go to modify center pivot, which will change the behavior just a little bit. Let's see where we're at. Okay. We're going to hit W and I'm going to pull that in just a little. So if we tilt this, that should be okay. All right. Make sure we're back at zero. Let's see. There you go. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to our end dynamics menu. We're going to go to end particles. Make sure you have your uh, container selected here. Go to end particles, create end particles. Go down and make sure you have water selected. Okay, and then we're going to go up and we're going to go to fill object and we're going to hit the option box. Okay, we're going to go to edit, reset settings. And we're just simply going to click on particle fill, nothing else. All right. Okay. So as you can see, our uh, container has been filled with particles. Okay. So now we need to do a little bit of animation. So I'm going to select this cup and I'm going to create, let's say 500 frames like that. Make sure I'm in frame one. I got my container selected. And I'm going to hit S on the keyboard. So select that, hit S. This little red line is showing up here. That's our keyframe number one. All right. Now I'm going to move to frame 100. I'm going to hit E to rotate. And I'm going to rotate and don't mind the content. That's fine. We'll figure that out later. That looks about right. Okay. And we're going to hit S again on our keyboard. So if we go back to the beginning of our animation and we hit play, don't mind that. We'll deal with that in a minute. Okay. Our cup is rotating fine. And that's what we want. Okay. Stop. We're going to go back to the start. Now, why did the particles fall out of the container? The reason is that we didn't tell the system to interact, to have the objects interact with the particles. So that's what we're going to do next. So we're going to select our container. We're going to select our bowl. All right. 
we're going to go up to Enmesh, create passive collider, like so. Let's try this again. Okay, we're going to hit make sure we're at the start. We're going to hit play. And there we go. And there are our particles. And they're starting to actually fill up the bowl, as you can see. And the dynamics, uh, they're simulating the movement of water. Okay, cool. Now, we're going to go back to frame one. Okay, uh, let's see what else we can do. We've got collide set on. Let's say we're going to create an obstruction somewhere around here. Okay, let's do a polygon uh, cone. We're going to pull that up just a little, something like that. And then we're going to add some subdivision to that, something like so, which will allow us in our side view to right click, go to face, and we're just going to select that top section there. And we're going to hit delete. Okay. We're going to take that object. So right click object mode. We're going to hit E. We're going to flip it over. Something like that. Make sure we're at 90 degrees or in this case minus 180 because we flipped it over. We're going to right click, go to face, select that top face, hit delete. And we're going to right click, go to object mode, select our object, and set all translate values to zero. So it's nice and centered. And we're going to hit W. There we go. We're going to hit W and we're going to pull that up to something like that. Okay. Now we need to make this a passive clutter as well. So we're going to select that. We're going to go to Enmesh, create passive collider, and let's try our animation again. Go to the first frame, hit play, let's see what happens. Okay, you can see that that's working fine. Some of it is going over the edge, but that's okay. No problem there. Just going to pause that. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to go to our Windows Outliner. Let's select our particle. Uh, let's see. Yeah. If we check our Nucleus 1 tab, yeah, so we have our end particle here. We're going to check our end Nucleus tab there. We can scroll down and we can select Use Plane. Now, what that will do is instead of our particles falling uh, uh, next to the bowl and falling straight down, the grid will act as a floor plane. Okay, so we're going to go back to our start. We're going to hit play again. And let's just uh, play that out. Now, as you can see, some of them are going over the edge and are actually interacting with the floor right now. Okay, so that's the effect that you get. And it's kind of uh, reacting like an hourglass right now, which is pretty cool. Now in your final render, when you're rendering this, uh, what you can do in your uh, particle setup is you can uh, decrease size and you can uh, increase uh, viscosity to make it act a little bit more like water. You can change the color, you can make it more transparent and so forth. Uh, this is just to illustrate how you can uh, create end particles and how you can have them interact with objects that you created in your scene, right? One thing to know is that if you actually want to change the dynamics of your particles, what you can do uh, is you can just select your particles here. You can go to modify, convert, and then, sorry, come on convert uh, end particles to polygons, okay? Now, when you do that, you will need to tweak settings because initially they will disappear altogether, all right? But that's a totally different tutorial. 
So that's just a, a simple and quick and easy way to play around with the end particles. We'll just uh, play that one more time. All right. Pretty cool. Okay, guys, that's it for this really short tutorial. Uh, if you got any questions, let me know. Thank you guys for watching, as always, and see you guys next time.